Hi, my name is Nina. I'm a crystal healer and Toltec shaman, and I am from Crystal Sun Healing. And this week we are going to do the video on opalite. So this is my owl opalite. It's quite lovely. It is translucent. And a little bit about opalite before we get to started, um, just like goldstone, uh, opalite is man-made and it's considered to be like man-made synthetic glass. Um, but besides that, you can still receive healing properties from it. And I've also had a special request for opalite as well. So some of the basics of opalite, it operates mostly with the third eye and the crown. So it's like the upper chakras. Uh, its energy is very feminine. Uh, the planet it resonates the most with is the moon, so you can charge this in the moonlight. Uh, the zodiac sign that might resonate the most with this is Cancer, and its element is water. So, uh, with that being said, you could also say that a secondary chakra uh, is the sacral chakra for healing when you work with this, just because... Uh, crystals work with a primary chakra doesn't mean that they have secondary it also means that they sometimes have secondary and tertiary chakras it just depends on the application of how you're using the crystal whether you're using to stimulate a chakra or to um destimulate um bring it back down if it's out of balance um or open and close so it just depends on the application um with that being said uh, you'll most often, if you, uh, if you are the feminine energy and you work with yoni crystals, you'll see a lot of yoni, um, crystals and yoni wands made out of opalite because this particular material is great for sexual healing. Um, it's a great mood stabilizer. It's really good to gift to someone if you know someone that has a lot of like mood swings and whatnot. It kind of, um... It's almost like a moonstone in a sense, but um, but not. It's its own. It's its own being. It aids in assists in communication. Um, it helps one in times of transition. It's good for purification. Um, when you use this in crystal healing, you can use it to heal the enter any of the energetic blockages that you see in any of the chakras or clearing any of the meridian lines. Um, so this is a great, great, great stone for using in crystal healing. Uh, when you meditate with it, it's great for dealing with all kinds of matters of spirituality, really helping to understand the different um, flow of things. It's really good for soothing the nervous system and um, it's good for relationships, just being able to like speak your truth and feel comfortable speaking your truth. So really it, it has multi-purpose on different parts of the body. So opalite is really great to work with. Um, that's all I wanted to share with you about opalite today. If you notice, cause people always ask me about does size matter, does shape matter? Well, size doesn't necessarily matter depending on your intention for what you're using it for. But when you have, when you work with different shapes, like for example, um, this would be considered fetish. Um, that's what they call them, but this is like an owl. So I got this one almost for like wisdom and deep insight of the unknown and the unseen. And so when you give it, uh, you work with an energy that has more of a personality to it, it enhances the energy that it embodies. So if you like this video, please like, share, comment below, subscribe to my YouTube channel, check me out on Facebook, Crystal Sun Healing. I'm on Instagram, Crystal underscore Sun underscore Yogi. I offer readings and energetic healings on my website, crystalsunhealing.com. If you have a crystal video request, please send me a message and leave it in the comments below and I'll see you next time.